Hi, and welcome to the Firestorm Appearance mini-series. I'm F.S. Teresa, and this lesson will cover some of the basics you need to know. There are three very important windows uh, that control your avatar appearance. They are the avatar selection window, the inventory window, and the appearance window. They're usually located as icons on the left side of your viewer. The avatar selection window looks like a picture of two people standing side by side. The appearance window looks like an overstarched t-shirt, and the inventory window looks like a suitcase. Now, if you happen to be on the Firestorm viewer, some of these may be located on the bottom icon bar instead of on the left side. Let's look at the inventory window first. This is the one that looks like a suitcase. Click on it, and an inventory window will pop up. Look at the first tab on that window, which is named My Inventory. Right now, we only care about two of the folders, clothing and My Outfits. By the way, the My Outfits inventory folder corresponds directly to the My Outfits tab, which we're going to look at in a little bit. My first avatar is Bitsy, the girl carrying the laptop with the purse with the dog in it. As you can see, there's a folder for Bitsy in both the clothing and the My Outfits folders. At the moment, this is all that's in there, but we will add more to it shortly. If you left click on the icon again, that window will disappear. Now let's look at the outfits window. Click the t-shirt icon. We're interested in the center tab, which is named My Outfits. At the moment, it only has one outfit in it, Bitsy. Let's take a look at Bitsy. Click on the little sideways triangle to expand that outfit and it will list each piece in the outfit. One of the items in the outfit is named Bitsy Tablet. This corresponds to the laptop that she's holding in her left hand. If you get tired of carrying the laptop around, you can remove it. Just left click on the tablet, either in the main viewer window or in the My Outfits tab, and select Detach. When you do that, the item disappears from the avatar. Notice that the tablet is no longer highlighted in green because she's no longer wearing it. But it's still in the outfit. If you want to put it back on, just go to the My Outfits tab, right-click the item, and select Add. As soon as you do that, it's highlighted again, and she's holding it again. You can now close the avatar to our appearance window by clicking the t-shirt icon again. Now we'll look at the avatar selection window. Click the two people icon. A large window will pop up with many choices of complete avatars in multiple categories. I decided to choose Rhiannon from the fantasy selection. She's a girl on a horse. Uh, find the avatar that you want and push the select button. When you do that, poof, your avatar changes into the one that you've selected. It can be male or female. You can change avatars in this manner as many times as you want, whenever you want. As you can see, my avatar is now the girl on the horse. Let's look at the inventory and appearance windows again. Note that Rhiannon has been added to, as a new folder under clothing, but she has not been added to my outfits. Second Life won't automatically add these looks to your outfits for you, but if you want to, you can manually save them. If you don't plan to make any changes to the outfit, it's probably not worth saving because you can always get it back from the avatar selection window. But if you plan to make some changes to it, then it's a very good idea to save it. To save an outfit, wear exactly what you want to save, then click the Save As button on the bottom of the My Outfits tab. A new window will pop up. Enter the name of that outfit and then press OK. Note that in my case, I felt that Rhi the Rihanna name was confusing, so I chose something I felt was more descriptive. I decided to call it Girl on Horse instead. You can pretty much name your outfit whatever you want to, as long as you stick to the Second Life naming conventions. Now we see that we have the outfit saved. And let's look at inventory and appearance windows again. As you can see, the new outfit is saved as girl in 
sorry, saved as girl on horse in my outfits. But now let's say you want to get back to our original look of Bitsy. This is actually very easy to do. Just bring up the appearance window and find Bitsy in my outfits. Now right click on Bitsy and select Wear Replace Current Outfit. And poof, you're back to your original look. In a similar manner, you can change from any outfit in My Outfits tab to any other outfit just by clicking it and selecting Wear, Replace Current Outfit. And there you have it. Oops, looks like I forgot to um, show you a slide. So here's the one that I missed. Um, this is showing that it's an inventory. And here you have it. You can now use Find and use the inventory, the appearance, and the avatar selection windows, and you can change and modify your appearance with them. You, you can also change whole outfits, and you can remove individual pieces from an outfit. This will give you more say in choosing what your appearance should look like in Second Life. Of course, there's a lot more we can do for our appearance, and I will cover some of it in my next lesson. Thanks for listening, and have fun fine-tuning your avatar's look.